everybody. Welcome to your boredom buster for today. We are going to make this cute little bunny garland that you can hang up for a decoration for the springtime. It's pretty easy, but there's quite a few steps. So let me just show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to need is some paper. I have some cute paper that I've used. As you can see, I cut out my bunnies already. Different patterns that are kind of fun. I used, um, scrapbook paper because it already has cute patterns, but you could use any kind of colorful paper or even white paper if you want. You can leave it plain, you can color it with markers, whatever, it could look really cute no matter what you do. You're also gonna want a pencil or other writing utensil. You're gonna need some scissors, a fork, some yarn, and it doesn't really matter what color, it's just whatever color you want to use. You can use your yarn for two different things in this, or you can also get some pretty ribbon to use for the garland part. And you're gonna want some tape and some glue. It doesn't really matter what kind of glue you use. I'm just using the easiest one I could find, but if you have a grown up supervising, you could use a different kind of glue that um, might make it stick a little bit better. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make a bunny shape on your paper. So the easiest way to do this is use the back of your paper, so whichever side you don't care about, and you're gonna draw a bigger circle and a smaller circle on top, kind of like a snowman without three parts, so just two parts of a snowman. And then you're gonna draw some ears sticking up off of that. Then you're gonna cut out that shape and when you turn it around, it's gonna look like these. So you won't see the little pencil marks on the front of it, which is nice. So that's why you do that on the back. Okay, so now you have your bunny shape. The next thing you're gonna do, and this is the fun part in my opinion, you are going to cut out a piece of yarn, something like this big. You want it big enough that you can tie it. You're gonna take your fork. You're going to put your yarn in between the middle parts, the tines of the fork. This part is easier if you tape the yarn down. So go ahead and do that if that is easier for you. Okay, this is fun. So you're gonna take your yarn and you can use as much as you want. If you use a lot of it, it'll make a really fluffy pom-pom. You're gonna lay it across your fork so that it, you have a tail sticking out and then you just have the continuous piece. And then you're just gonna wrap it around as many times as you want. So if you wrap it just a couple of times, you'll have a really little pom-pom, which is fine. If you wrap it a whole bunch of times, then you will have a much bigger pom-pom. Okay, that's as much as I'm gonna wrap mine. So you see it kind of builds up on there. And then you're gonna cut it off. So now you have both of the ends of that hanging down. Then you are going to untape that part. Okay, this is kind of a tricky part. So if you wanna have a grown up help you, that might be useful right now. The two parts that you untaped before are gonna come up around and the bottom is gonna come through the middle again, and then you can lay it down and you're gonna tie it. You're gonna double knot it as tight as you possibly can. And it's okay if this is a little tricky because it's even tricky for me. Okay, when you're done, it's gonna look kind of funny. It's gonna look like a weird piece of bow tie pasta and you're gonna have all these little strings hanging down. Okay, you're gonna slip it off of the fork and you're gonna take your scissors and there's a whole bunch of little loops and you're going to come in here and cut through as many of the loops as you can get to. Don't worry if you miss some of them, it doesn't really matter. It just, the more you can get, the fluffier your pom-pom is gonna be. And gonna come in, oh, I just pulled one out and that also isn't that big of a deal. You won't be able to tell once you cut all of them. Okay, once you've cut all your loops, you're gonna have this weird little creature and you're gonna kind of fluff it up and then you're gonna trim 
the long ones and you can trim all of them if you want so that it's a little more even but you don't have to up to you and how you want it to look I learned a cool trick the other day if you want it to be extra fluffy if you have like a cat at home you can take your cat's brush and you can brush all the little fibers and it makes it really really fluffy like a cotton ball you don't have to do that and if you even if you have a cat at home you don't have to but kind of a fun step okay next you have your little pom-pom and you have a bunny shape you're gonna take your glue I think it's easiest to glue the pom-pom first before you glue the paper so you're gonna pour a bunch of glue on here like not so it's dripping but you don't want to just put like a tiny little dot or else it won't glue it and then you're gonna stick it to your bunny right there on its body and you're gonna hold that for a second so that it sticks pretty well and then you're gonna lay it down flat and let it dry and you can do that with as many bunnies as you have paper for so if you have a bunch of different colors of paper you can do a whole bunch of different bunnies and then once they're all dry you are going to take a piece of ribbon whatever length you want your garland and you're gonna cut it off and then you are going to use tape and tape the back of the bunny's ears onto the ribbon so it's gonna look like that so you're gonna you can lay your bunny flat if you want to and tape the ribbon onto the back of those ears so that when it hangs it looks like that but with a little pom-pom on it okay so you're gonna do it with all your bunnies and when you are done it should look something like this and then you can hang that above a door you can hang that over your bed you can hang that from a table anywhere you want and it will add a little bit of spring decor to your home Thanks for watching my boredom buster. We are going to do these every weekday at four, so don't forget to tune in. Bye.